So what did you want to talk to me about? Last month, I was in Peru doing a piece on a relief project. I met a priest there. He told me about some scrolls. What kind of scrolls? It's a prophecy. Why are you calling me about all this now? Because every time I would think of this prophecy, I would think of you. You should go to Vicente, John. Have you ever experienced a coincidence that you cannot explain? Wait a minute. You know about all this. Who are you? Part of your story, apparently. My name is Will. John. Do you suppose it was an accident that you came to Peru? Why did I see you from my window when I did? Ever feel as though your life was about something more? So what are you telling me, that this is some kind of a fate thing that I'm supposed to go with you? There are journeys that can take a person across continents. My God. What is this place? Celestine Ruins. What's that over there? The mission. But sometimes... I know you. You're here to do something important. The greatest journey... Will told me I had to open up, whatever that means. ...is the one we take within ourselves. I uh, felt the kind of completeness. Uh, a wholeness is... Uh, it's unmatched euphoria. God, it's amazing how easy it is to lose yourself around some people. Why are you losing yourself? I'm talking about you. You opened up. I changed. Did Will explain this to you? But I lost it. Why? It's because you're not through yet. You have to discover your guide. There's nothing to understand. All this talk about prophecy must come to an end. But don't worry. We're gonna get out of here. Okay. Energy surrounds us. Intuition guides us. This is mine to do. Mystery calls us. If you only knew what the prophecy says, how the world really is. From the runaway best-selling book by acclaimed author James Redfield. I'll always find the deeper meaning, the silver lining. That's what keeps you in the flow. The Celestine Prophecy. Coming Spring 2006.